Hi, thank you for stopping by. My name is Khan and in today's video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step instruction on how to create Windows 10 bootable USB using three different methods. These methods are using Microsoft Creation Tool, using Rufus Tool, using simple built-in Windows command line. Let's start with method one using Microsoft Media Creation Tool. In this method, I will download the Windows Media Creation Tool from Microsoft website. You can find the link in the description. Please note the minimum disk space requirement to create Windows 10 bootable USB is 8 GB. Let's get started. Insert the USB thumb drive into your computer. Please ensure there are no important files on the thumb drive. If there are any, you might want to store them at safe place because the whole USB drive will be formatted. Let's move to the computer screen and create Windows 10 bootable USB using Media Creation Tool. Open your choice of browser and type the Media Creation link and press Enter. On this page, click Download Tool now. The executable file should start to download automatically. Once downloaded successfully, browse to the file and launch executable. You will be prompted to allow the file to execute with admin rights. Depending on the speed of your computer, getting a few things ready can take few. Read Microsoft License Term and click Accept. Select Create Installation Media and click Next. On this screen, I'm given the choice to select language and type of operating system architecture. I will be selecting 64-bit only, but you could either select 32-bit or 64-bit or both. It all depends on your need. I would also be selecting language as an English. Click Next. I'm going after Windows 10 bootable USB. I will select USB drive. If you need ISO only, you can select ISO. Select Next. Select Next. Depending on your computer and internet speed, it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to several hours. To save the time, I'm going to pause the video and return once the process is completed. Okay, I'm back. Click Finish. The bootable USB is ready. Let's verify Windows 10 files by browsing to the USB drive. This concludes first method of creating Windows 10 bootable USB via Microsoft Creation Tool. In second method of creating bootable USB, I'll be using Rufus Bootable Tool. What exactly is a Rufus Tool? Rufus is a utility that helps format and create bootable USB flash drives such as USB keys, memories, stickers, etc. It can be especially useful for cases where you need to create USB installation media from bootable ISOs. It also works on system that does not have OS installed. You can also use this utility to flush a BIOS or other firmware from DOS. It's also helpful if you want to run a low-level utility. In the next few steps, I will download and install Rufus tool on my computer. For this method, one must download Windows 10 ISO. To save some time, I have already downloaded Windows 10 ISO. 
please refer to method one on this video on how to download Windows 10 ISO. Let's get started. Insert the USB drive into the, the USB slot. Make sure there are no important files on your thumb drive. If there are any, you might want to move them to a safe place because the drive will be formatted. Open your choice of browser and visit rufus.ie. Browse to the area where uh, it shows latest updated uh, version. Download the latest version and execute the executable. Select your device. This is your USB device. Make sure that you are selecting the correct USB device. If you have multiple devices that are attached, please make 100% sure because it will be formatted. Select, click select, browse to the uh, path where you have saved uh, your ISO. In partition scheme area, select MBR. Leave the target system as BIOS. Volume to label. This would be the volume of your drive after it's formatted. I will uh, I'll leave it as uh, ESD ISO. For file system, leave uh, NTFS. Leave everything default and click start. If you are prompted with the warning, click OK. This should start building the USB boot able to I will pause to save some time and will be back once the process is completed I am back the process has completed let's verify the files all of the Windows files are there This concludes the second method of creating a Windows 10 bootable media using Rufus tool. Thank you. In third method of creating Windows 10 bootable media, I'll be using Microsoft built-in utility called DiskBot. It's a DOS-based utility. This method is for computer savvy individuals only. Please you know, do not use this method if you are not sure what you are doing. In order to complete this method, you will need Windows 10 ISO. I have already downloaded Windows 10 ISO to save some time. I will run few commands in DOS to create bootable media and then I will copy the Windows 10 source files from ISO to bootable thumb drive manually. The commands I'm going to use are also listed on the, this slide. Let's get started. Type CMD uh, in the search box. Uh, you would see the command prompt, right click and run this one as an administrator. Type disk part. This would uh, start uh, the disk part utility. You want to look at the the disks that are attached to your system right now. So I'll be typing list disk. This shows uh, there are uh, two disks that are attached to uh, this 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 device right now. Uh, I know which one they are. Uh, the disk zero is my hard drive, and disk one is uh, the thumb drive, the one that I'm trying to prepare for. Uh, USB uh, bootable device. If you see more than two devices here, there is one way you could just look at uh, the uh, all of the volumes too. So type uh, list V O L. 
that would show you what other volumes are attached. So volume zero in this case, I'm not using that one, but it is already attached. And C is my C drive, which is my hard drive. And D is my, uh, currently the device that uh, I'm trying to use as the bootable device. Please, this is very important to know which uh, device that you would be using and cleaning. Uh, so make sure uh, which which device and which disk to select before uh, moving forward. So I am aware now that I need to clean my disk one. That's the device, the one that I want to prepare for uh, bootable media. So I will uh, to select disk one and then uh, I will clean it. So I created, uh, I cleaned the disk uh, by running a command uh, clean. Uh, once it was successful, then I created a partition, which was a primary partition, uh, it was uh, created successfully. Then I formatted the drive in a FAT32 format, and it was a quick format. So now the disk has been formatted. Next command line that I'm going to use would be to make that partition active which would be a, a list uh, or partition would list the partitions and the asterisk sign shows right now that the primary partition is already selected that's the one that i want to create as an active so i will do active and then exit this is uh, now drive is bootable and i can close this so now if I go and look at the drive, this is my drive that is active and ready for the files to be copied over. You could just uh, simply go and uh, open the file, ISO file, the one that was downloaded in part one of this video, and simply uh, copy uh, those files uh, manually, and that should take care of just boot media right here. Just double click it. These are all the files uh, that are included in the ISO. I'll just simply copy and then paste it. And once all of the copies are filed, uh, you have a bootable Windows 10 media. That concludes the uh, third portion uh, of this video. Thank you so much for visiting. This was my very first video. So I hope uh, uh, those little mistakes are uh, forgiven. Uh, thank you so much. And please subscribe to my channel. I will be adding more uh, tutorials. I am an SCCM admin, so I would uh, also have lots and lots of videos regarding the, the SCCM. Thank you so much. Have a great day.